if you are a WordPress developer or designer, you have been probably switching between different local development environments, including local by Flywheel, uh, Laragon, uh, probably MAMP, probably ZAMP, or even WAMP server. Recently, there has been a new addition, which is specifically for WordPress local development, and that is Studio by WordPress. And in this video, I'm going to show you five things you should know about Studio by WordPress and let's get started. Before we go any further, I want to mention that Studio is a tool that has been developed by Automatic, the people behind WordPress.com. Now, Studio is free and currently you can only use it on, you know, a Mac computer or on Macintosh operating system, but it looks like they're also developing a version for people who are using Windows computers. After watching a couple of demo videos here and there, I was kind of tricked to check this out because I'm not the kind of person who checks out new software or tries new software when it is just launched out. And I have to be very honest, I found Studio very easy, fast to install and to work with. And now let me show you what this means. Now, if you are using a Mac computer, you're going to come to developer.wordpress.com forward slash studio. I'm going to leave this link in the description of this video. And then you're going to come down below here and get a copy of the download. For now, you should be using a Mac computer. And if you're using one with Apple Silicon, just like me, just download that and then install it in the applications folder. And those using Macs with Intel chips, just click the option below here and install it right away. Now, when you install Studio by WordPress, this is how a typical interface will look like. At the moment, I have four active sites, but I'm going to take you through on how you can actually get started, how to add sites, delete sites, share sites, and all those things. But first, I want to mention the number one thing you have to know is that it's a free WordPress local development tool, and you can only use it for WordPress. It's not that you can also use it to run other applications. So you have to know that at the back of your mind. Now, how do you install or add a new website? So it's a point and click kind of thing. Just like here, when I come, I say add a site and you can actually add unlimited websites. I'm here to check that because some people say unlimited. And then when you reach a certain number of applications, then they say, no, you cannot, you know, or something happens. Anyway, when I say add a new site, I can give it a name over here and here it will, you know, create a local path. Normally this local path is where studio is installed on your computer. And if you want to change that, you can obviously go straight and change that right on your computer and you have your applications installed elsewhere. Now, when I say add a site, boom, there we go. In just seconds, I think one or two seconds, I have my WordPress instance active and I can start working with it. Now, here is what happens. So if a site is running, you'll have this kind of a green circle on that application. And if the application is inactive or when it's not running, you'll have the gray icon. Now, if you hover over that icon, which is gray, it will show this kind of play button, call it play or run button. And if you click that, that means that it's going to run that application. Now, if I hover over that application once again, I have the option to say stop. I can as well click on that application and come straight to this other button which says stop. Alternatively, you can still click over here on this red rectangle and you stop that application. Now back to our application that we have created. Automatically, when you create an application, it's going to be the default WordPress version. So in this case, we have the 2024 theme, which is active. Now, when I say open site, this is how the site is looking like. You can, of course, go into the back end right from here on the browser window, or you can still come over here and say open the WP admin page which will take you straight inside a WP admin dashboard and you can start working there and then on your WordPress application, installing themes, plugins and all that stuff. The other thing that you have to know is that when you create applications, now I have one, two, three, four, five applications, the URL or the local host address will be changing based on the number of applications that you have running. So in this case, we have this as localhost 888 
5. Now that's like the fifth application on Studio. Now when I create a new site, it is going to have the next address from 885, which was the last localhost address. Now we have 886. Now, the other thing I have to mention is that once you create a new application, automatically you have this 2024 theme installed. That means that the interface that is going to appear here right on that specific site, you'll be having that overview based on the theme that is running on the WordPress instance. So this website is running a full site editing theme and you have these quick links that you can access to go and customize the site. But if your site is using a classic theme, so for instance, this is a classic theme by Cadence and you see that the customizer options are totally different from the one which is a full site editing theme. So I just thought I have to mention that because hey, you may be confused. Why am I having different options for different websites? So that will vary depending on the kind of theme that you have installed. So the other thing I have to mention is that Studio by WordPress is giving us the option to also create live links that we can share with our clients. So for instance, if I have created this site and I want my client to have access to this site, I think better I use this other site. So let me show it to you right over here. This is you know a template that I just installed. Don't mind about the images that are missing, but I just want you to see that there are actual files running on the site. When I come back here to studio and I come to the share option, you see, I have this dialogue over here, which is showing me that, you know, I have a link that expires in six days and, you know, I can delete or even update the demo site. I'm going to delete this for now. Now here, it means that you'll be able to share a link to anyone on the internet anywhere in the world that will be able to access this exact site and this site will expire in seven days now when you make changes to this site and push those changes to the live link it will reset the days but the maximum number of files that you can have hosted should only be five now when i say create a demo site now this is going to create a demo site on your wordpress.com account and that to work you should have signed in using your wordpress.com account on studio and the option is always right down below here and once you have a demo site created and you click over here it will show your account and the number of demo sites that are running and once you click over here you can say delete all demo sites now this will delete the demo sites that are seated on your wordpress.com account at that moment so we have the site name we have the actual link that we can copy and the site expires in seven days. Now, when I copy this link, I'm going to come here to my Safari browser. I'll paste the link over here. You see that we have our site showing up. And of course, it's showing this banner over here that now you're previewing a studio site powered by WordPress.com hosting. I'll close that and you see our site is right over there you can navigate through the different pages now i want to mention something that you may run into i actually realized that if i go back and make changes to this site so for instance i'm going to go to the admin and i'm going to come to for instance the pages now let me go to appearance uh, menus i'm going to remove one of the pages from the menu uh, this contact page in this case I'm going to just de remove this page and then save the menu. On our live link, this page should not appear. Just like here on the local host, when I reload, you see that we don't have the account page. Now, when I come here to studio, I click on update demo site. This should be able to override the files that are hosted on wp.com on this temporary link and replace it with the files that you have updated from the local host environment. Now, the problem is that even after you updating, clicking on update demo site, those changes will fail to reflect on the hosted application. So since now I've updated, I'll click on this link, come back to my Safari browser, and then I'll paste the link once again. And you see that I still have the contact page appearing in the menu, even when I reload, now it has worked but there are certain times when these updates are going to refuse to reflect right on the updated link now the shortcut to that 
or what I found as a working way is to delete the demo site and then create a new demo site by coming to that application, then say add a new demo site and that will create kind of a new hosted instance on wordpress.com and then you don't have to run into the headache of hey I don't see the changes reflected on my end. Now the other thing I have to mention is the ability for you to open this site in other applications. So for instance when I say open in studio will try to look for the available applications on your computer that you can open these files with. At the same time it will take you straight to the files where that WordPress application is installed on your computer and then also the WP config file which you can make changes to in case you want. And for those of you who want to access the terminal, of course you can click over here and then you can go ahead and run the terminal and then make all the necessary changes or updates you want to make on the application. Before we close up the video, let's look into the settings option which gives you a couple of options. So for instance, you can rename your site from here in case you didn't name it at the installation of the application and then save changes. Now this automatically updates right here on the panel and as well as here and then you can see your local host URL for this specific application and then the local path of that application on your computer, the WordPress version, logins to the admin dashboard, username, the password and the admin URL. Now if you don't want the site like I have showed you before you can delete that site. So for instance if I don't want this site I can delete it immediately by saying delete site and boom there it goes. Overall if you want to create demo sites on your local computer specifically for WordPress I think Studio is a tool that is worth to check out because hey it gives you unlimited you know WordPress instances that you can create on your local computer, you can share live links to your clients, you can make changes as you want, you, you can access your local files and make tweaks to literally anything and you have this application at your disposal at any other time. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe. Have a good time and goodbye.